Hello, in this video we are going to mention OpenCV face recognition module. Nowadays deep learning modules dominate face recognition studies, but OpenCV wraps some legacy techniques such as local binary patterns histograms or shortly LBPH, eigenface and Fisher face models. In other words, face recognition models supported by OpenCV are not state-of-the-art models anymore. If you need to deploy a strong face recognition application, then you should adopt a deep learning based model. Still, OpenCV face recognition module is a pretty baseline for newbies. As a prerequisite, you need to install those Python packages. OpenCV Python and OpenCV Contribution Python. Firstly, we will import OpenCV library. Import CV2. Secondly, let's build the face recognition module. OpenCV.face.lbph face recognizer dash create. And that's going to be my model. Alternatively, you can build Eigen face recognizer or Fisher face recognizer. But I will build LBPH face recognizer in this video. Let's define the database images. I'm going to store them in the FaceDB variable and it's going to be a Python list. They are located in the DB folder in the same directory of my notebook. Their names are db slash image1.jpg, db slash image3.jpg, db slash image44.jpg, and finally db slash image8.jpg. Let's read the raw images in these locations for image path in face TV and let's print the image path first. Let's see image content. I actually need the just face area of this image. That's why I'm going to build a function def detect face and we are going to pass the image path to this function in this function we will read the raw image first cv2 dot read and pass image path here secondly we need to detect a face to detect a face we need to define a cascade classifier and i'm going to create a detector and it's going to be cv2 dot cascade classifier Cascade classifier expects the configuration file and it's going to be hard cascade frontal face default XML. This configuration file is located in the same directory of my notebook. This is the raw image and I need to apply the detector to the raw image. Detect multi scale function under the detector and I'm going to pass image as input here. Optionally, we can set scale factor and min neighbors parameters in detect multi scale function. Here I'm going to pass 1.3 and 5. And this is going to be the detected faces because one image might include more than one faces. Let's try this function. And here I'm going to call detect face function and pass image path as input. By the way, let's print detected faces here. As seen, each image includes four coordinate points for detected face area. Image 8 includes more than one faces. I'm going to ignore the second one and just focus on the first one. I'm going to get the zero index value of the detected index and let's get the coordinates to the 
those letters. Here, let's focus on the detected face area. From Y to Y plus hash and from X to X plus W. Now, image stores just the detected face area of the first face in the raw image. Let's return the image here. Now I'm going to import the matplotlib to display images. Import matplotlib.pyplot as plt. Here, let's store this in the detected face variable and plt dot show detected face. It shows the last one because I forgot to add plt dot show here. As seen, these are the detected face areas of the raw images, but they are in blue. I can handle this just like that. These are the detected face areas of the raw images. Here image stores just the detected face area. Now I need to resize it. Image is equal to cv2 dot resize and I'm going to pass the detected face and here I'm going to set the at size. Let's see the resized images. They are all in same size. And finally, I need to convert this resized image to the grayscale because uh, those models expect grayscale images. Here, image is equal to cv2 dot cvt color and pass image here and cv2 dot color. BGR to gray. Let's see them, but I need to delete this part. These are the grayscale images. They are all in same size. They are all focusing on the just facial area. I don't need to show those images anymore. Here I'm going to initialize a Python list faces and I'm going to append the detected face content to the faces. OpenCV also expects the IDs of each face. That's why I'm going to initialize the IDs Python list here. And here initialize the index variable as zero. And here I'm going to increase the content of the index. And append index to the IDs. Let's see the IDs. And let's see the faces. By the way, IDs variable is Python list, but OpenCV expects it as NumPy array. That's why I'm going to convert it to NumPy array, but I need to import it first. Import NumPy as MP. And let's see the IDs again here. It's NumPy array. It's NumPy array. We have already built the model here, and now it's time for training model dot train and I'm going to pass faces and IDs as input arguments here. Here I can store the trained model model dot save and it's going to be my model dot yaml. When the model is trained once then you don't have to train it anymore. We can actually read it just like that model dot read model.yaml let's look at the inside of the trained model it has a get histograms functions and 
length of the histograms as 4. It's equal to the number of instances in my database. And let's see the first one. It's the array. And let's see the length of it. It must be more than one because it stores uh, all items in its first item. OpenCV will classify faces based on those histogram values. My model is trained, now I can find faces in my database. Let's create a target file. Target path actually, it's going to be target dash, for example, image 7.jpg and target is going to be here i'm going to call the take face function and pass target path let's see the content of the target plt.imshow and pass target that's the target image and we are going to look for it in my database now i'm going to call model.predict and pass this target image and it's going to return two items these are id in my database and confidence score let's see the confidence score first and let's see the id second it says that the zero index value in my faces faces db and pass ix face db actually image one jpeg is the same person of this one let's store this in the font pad let's create a font variable and call detect face again and pass font pad and here I need to plt dot show and font one. Let's put two show lines in the same block. plt dot show and plt dot show. We look for this image and it found this one. They are both Angela Julie. Let's test it for another image. For example, image 9.jpg. And run the following lines. We look for this image and it finds, it finds this one. They are both Scarlett Johnson. And the conf confidence score is 55 in this case. Test it for another case for example image 46.jpg and run the following lines they are both Katy Perry and finally test it for the image 54.jpg they are both Jennifer Aniston so we have mentioned how to run face recognition model of OpenCV. Even though it wraps uh, some legacy techniques, the results are satisfactory and it's a, a good baseline for newbies. Thank you all for watching and see you next time.